Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Aura Divine Tarot. My name is Brittany and we're going to do October predictions for all of the signs. So whatever one you clicked on here, this is just my general intro for all of them just to make it a little bit easier. Cross watchers are always welcome. This is for sun, moon, rising or Venus or Mars. However, this correlates for you for sure. Absolutely take it. And uh, take what I, whatever resonates. Leave a dozen for another out there because this is a lot for a lot of people. We will be going into career, love, and general. Okay, whatever spirit wants me to tell you, I'm going to tell you. All right. So I hope you enjoy. All right. Hello, Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Or Mars, if you feel like, and cross watchers. Hi, hello. You're always welcome here. We're going to get into your October messages. So I'm just going to jump right into it. We're going to start with career. That's what I've been doing for the rest of the signs. We're going to see what kind of themes are going around in there. And then for the romance, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna see what's happening in your love department next. And uh, then we're going to get into general and that'll kind of piece together the other clues. And if you have more than one sign in your big three, if you're not a stellium, uh, then you can absolutely get other layers to this in the other videos. So whatever those signs are, okay? So I'll just keep that in mind. Take what resonates. Leave a dozen for another Scorpio out there. It's not going to hit everybody to a T. Um, but we're going to see. So spirit, get that energy in there. <laughs> um, we're going to get into Scorpio and what's happening with their career, please. And thank you for the month of October. All right. So we have Page of Wands. Ooh, everybody's been getting judgment. <clears throat> everybody's getting just people are heeding their calls okay like you are literally listening to the universe and listening to your intuition i mean i don't have to tell you to listen to your intuition okay scorpios are the ones that are the most in tune but i find they're more secretive about it and that's totally fine totally fine but this is your card here with the death and rebirth you are transforming into a brand new version of you all over again and i think that's beautiful i love it when scorpios change it up like they switch it up and it's like Damn, yes, I'm I'm applauding you guys from the from the sidelines because I'm like, yes, Scorpio. My North Node's in Scorpio, so I totally understand that. And like, oh my God, you guys like come back 10 times better and stronger. We have the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> And we have Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so new job or maybe a raise or promotion coming up here. So we have Page of Swords with the Page of Wands. We have the Five of Wands with Judgment. We have the Nine of Pentacles with the Death card. We have the Hanged Man. And we have the Wheel of Fortune along with the Nine of Cups, the Two of Swords, and... The tower. Okay, so there's a tower moment happening here. So let's see what's on the back of the deck. This is leading up to like your ultimate like happiness here. Like uh, the four of wands is like it's finally some you're headed in a direction where you're meant to be. It's not all for naught anymore. Okay, so maybe you've been starting off with like a passion project. <clears throat> And maybe some people have been scoping you out online. Uh, maybe this is going to like flourish or maybe like your work is online. And that that's, oh my gosh, you got people having eyes on you and like you're very innovative. So I don't know whether in the workplace, maybe like you're organizing things a lot better. Um, <clears throat> maybe you're like the glue that holds everybody together. Um, but with, with judgment here. I'm feeling like you're doing what you feel be feel is best for you and other people cannot handle it because it, it used to work out for them a lot better when you just did what was best for everybody else, but not just for you. I was telling Libra this as well. You have to start standing up for yourself. I wouldn't be surprised if you had Libra placements, but for those of you that don't. I feel like this is to be said for everybody. You got to start standing up for yourself and like Scorpios are used to transforming and you know shedding the old skin and starting off new like it, it it's some of you don't want to embrace it but some of you do that that's the beauty of it and you are <clears throat> standing tall on your own abundant self-reliant independent like maybe you were codependent on people or, or like a work this workplace everybody's switching it up I love this we have Queen of Cups. Your nurturing soul is still intact. Nobody's using your kindness. Um, nobody's mistaking your kindness for weakness anymore, okay? Like, you're kind, but you can also smack a bitch. Like, that's <laughs> that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from it. It's like, mm. <laughs> And the Hanged Man, you know how to use... You don't have to be, like, so... 
Mm, how do I word this spirit? You don't have to be in such a sharp exterior to protect this anymore. You're going to embrace your Queen of Cups energy, your nurturing side, your caring, pouring into it. You're pouring into others uh, along with yourself, but you're going to be doing it a different way. So maybe you're heading into a career that is more um, health oriented or like care oriented or just making things with tender love and care. Okay. Um, with this new, uh, with this ace of pentacles here, either new job opportunity is coming to you or you're getting that raise or promotion that you so freaking deserve. Like, I feel like you're stepping on up and people are not going to be able to notice this any, like, this isn't going to go unnoticed, this nine of pentacles. You are going to be shining. We love that. <clears throat> And with this Wheel of Fortune, with the Ace of Pentacles, this is some. This is a manifestation coming in. Okay, um, this is this is everything. This is your energy too, and it's upright. So this the the luck is changing. Your luck is definitely changing, and this is wish fulfillment. So then you're gonna have to make a decision. Okay, a swift decision. Do you stay at this place, or do you do you go? And either way, it's gonna cause a tower moment. And towers are not always bad. Okay, some people do fear this card, but it's happening for you, not to you. So if you don't make a decision, okay, if you don't make a decision, the universe is gonna make it for you. Okay, but with these two cards here, with the with the tower here, what we ended off with, and then the four of wands on the on the back of the deck, it's leading you towards happiness, like where you're meant to be. Okay, you weren't meant to be in this energy anymore, in this environment anymore. Maybe you're shifting your work ethic or maybe like you're definitely setting your boundaries for yourself. Some days you may have to take a self-care day and that's completely fine. And if those people are like, oh, well, you're not working hard enough. It's like, oh, well, your job is easy. You're easily replaceable just because you needed to take a freaking day. Excuse me. We are not machines. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it's time to start doing what you like to do. What Do what you do best. And do what you what fuels your soul okay because you can't ignore this call any longer okay and people are going to be triggered people are definitely going to be triggered i want to say also there could be people fighting for your position and you don't even want it anymore okay so think about that one if if, if if that's starting to happen if you're feeling that vibe maybe it's time for you to venture into something more fruitful for yourself okay um you're gonna have lovely opportunities and with this death and rebirth here you heading into this nine of pentacles energy this abundant she's got everything on her own she's independent confident she is that bitch yeah absolutely like sorry i'm not calling you a b-word <laughs> but like i'm meaning this like this is a wonderful energy to step into and a lot of people get triggered when you do that when you start making moves for you and especially in the workplace it's like I thought we were a team it's like excuse me they would replace you the second you die okay like it's not it's not that deep so maybe you're you're going to be heading into like a new place or a new environment that is gonna better um appreciate you like what like what I was telling Libra and I cleanse the energies beforehand so we're gonna get into the kipper here Okay, so what do you have to show my lovely Scorpios, please? And thank you, spirit. Yeah, coffin. Okay, yeah, end of an old situation. The old you is gone, the old ways of being, and maybe the old environment. Yeah, poverty. Yeah, that would have just led you to, like, you wouldn't be able to flourish into this nine of pentacles if you still stay stuck in this old workplace where there's a lot of tension, there's a lot of competition, and it's like, why does, it's not that serious we have mature woman yeah you're stepping into your maturity or mature woman's gonna help you with this decision um and we have message maybe maybe it's somebody who really wants you to work for them and like a girl boss okay not gatekeeping this 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 mature woman definitely sees potential in you and we have wealthy man 13 oh my gosh okay so maybe you're going to be working for like um a wealthy couple or something like that <clears throat> i don't know or be stepping into this energy and be meeting a wealthy man you know take it out resonates but I think this is going to be a wonderful thing for you. So spirit wants me to stop right now because a lot of this will be covered in the general. Okay, but we're going to hop on over to the romance and I will pause. Don't want to waste your time with this. All right. Li uh, not Libras. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Scorpios. <laughs> so let's get into your romance. Okay, as soon as I split the deck, as soon as I split the deck, 
Beauty queen. We have shining on stage adored. So uh, if you're single, this is a good time. You're going to be noticed by people. Uh, if you're not, you're just, if you're with somebody already, like you're, you're going to be shining like never before. And you and your partner are going to be shining together. So let's see. Let's see. What do we got for my lovely Scorpios for the month of October, please? And thank you. Okay. All right. We have mature woman, socialite, connector, high society. Either you could be this person or stepping into this energy or somebody like this is important. We have work, profession, college, workplace. So you could be meeting somebody at work. Ooh. 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 <laughs> or in the new workplace. <clears throat> we have gifts, surprises, presents, openings. We've got children, childlike, innocence, fun. Yeah, somebody who nurtures your inner child is finally coming in. Or maybe you're finally, like, you know, embracing yourself. Let's see. Like, enjoying yourself and whatever comes your way in love. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Okay, we have freedom, casual, being single, lightness. Like, if you, if you are in a committed relationship right now, this could just be, like, more of, like, a fresher energy in your relationship but if you are not this is good this is this is really good you are freeing yourself we have families origin soul family groups we have ice queen divorcee mother discernment we have young female youthful music fashion we have fair male lighter than darker and then on the back of the deck, we have gossip. Okay, so you're freeing yourself from the gossip of people talking about your love life. People love to talk, okay? And people are going to talk whether you like it or not. So keep doing you. Do what's best for you. And of course, like Scorpio energy, I find in the astrology community, anybody who finds out you're a Scorpio, they instantly go, oh, that's a sexual person. Not all the time. Not all the time. But why do people need to, why do you need to care? Okay, like not everybody, um, not everybody's a prude. Not everybody is, uh, you know, closed off to things. Scorpio's out here enjoying and it's not it's not Scorpio's fault that they're good at it like you know what I mean so like enjoy yourself be free like date around do what you need to do and like use your discernment especially when it comes to certain things maybe don't date at work okay like maybe that's why the ice queen came here like if they're at work that's a no-go that is instantly like a no thank you uh-uh um we do have young females so that could be your energy you could be young with a mature mind um, a lot of Scorpios I meet are often like, they, they kind of look their age, but then they like mentally, they're like old souls, you know, you, you've been through it. You've been through your transformations. You know what you're talking about. And I feel like this is going to be attracting a lot of different people here. And yeah, people are going to be talking about you, but in in the best way, like the beauty queen card. I mean, we didn't get it in here, but when I cut the deck, that was important. You are definitely going to have eyes on you if you don't already. So uh, let's see. Ooh, maybe you could be dealing with like childish people. I do want to say with the fair male here. Maybe you dealt with childish people in the past and you're freeing yourself from these people. Um and maybe like young female maybe is a gift to you, you know, you never know. However you however you go, whatever way you swing, it's all good. Um, but I wanted to I wanted to say that. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Actually, spirit's asking me to put it here. Okay. So beware of this, okay? Uh let's see. Beware of that masculine energy because they're not as mature as you would like them to be. Okay, so we have chemistry, we have playfulness, we've got codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. So yeah, I feel like you're healing that. Um, anybody who's codependent on you, you're like, uh-uh, not dealing. And then we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So yeah, if that's you feeling the need to be single, you do that. Um, if you, like, you need to use your discernment when it comes to people who are trying to, like, get with you because, like, ugh. More and more people, because your your energy is so high vibrational, especially with um the the past section, right, where it was like, okay, we're stepping into our power here. And nine of nine of pentacles energy definitely has people having eyes on you. So that can definitely bring a lot, all the energies, attract all the energies, good and bad. So your discernment's gonna really help you in your favor here. But you can still be playful, you know, do what you need to do. We're going to ask the Island Time Wellness. What's up? What else? Thank you. 
Okay, so we have soulmate, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. We have golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. We have mask, not showing true feelings, high personified, pretend, delude, gaslighting. And we have butterfly. Yeah, you're rising above all of this. You are no longer dealing with people who are narcissists and have to hide behind a mask. We ain't doing masks. If you cannot be authentic in your truest self... I don't want it kind of vibe, you know, like that, that's a lot of energy. And like a lot of people like to bring you down when they can't get out of their mask and they want to make sure you mask. And it's like, no, why do I have to live my life like you? So you're, you're learning how to discern from those connections. Okay. Because those things are blocking you from a soulmate here. Uh, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth. Yeah. You're the butterfly here. You're the one transforming and triggering people into their transformation. And not a lot of people can handle it. The only ones that can are the mature ones. Okay. So like, it doesn't even have to be a woman. It can be like, uh, someone in their feminine energy, but this is definitely soul family. And we have the runner, runner and codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Yeah, you're done with that. You're done with that. And it's just like, fine, run. You ain't coming back. <laughs> that's when you shut the door in their face. Um, but that's beautiful because you don't deserve to have those energies around you. Like they don't deserve to be around you um, because they don't know how to treat you and keep you. We have the king of pentacles when I split the deck. So somebody who is stable and monetarily like a financially abundant like you know they have they have their own they have their ducks in a row you could be either meeting somebody like that or you're already with somebody like that okay so let's see here spirit what else do you have to tell my lovely scorpios about this please and thank you oh oh okay okay chill on out please and thank you okay so we have the cliffhanger to be continued okay okay uh, we have King of Mirrors, the intellectual. So that is King of Swords using logic over emotions. We have the Four of Wands and we have the fans. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of people talking about you and your love life. It's a hot commodity here. But then we have Page of Rings, the optimist. That's Page of Pentacles energy. Definitely having optimism for the future and what it has to hold. Uh, for you and different opportunities with different people this is going to be a fun time for you like dating around and all that if you are not with somebody already um but definitely like leading you to your four of wands your 11 11 like your union your truest union and like you're pouring into yourself I love that so much for you um let's see spirits asking me to pull some charms and initials now for you because i don't need to ruin a surprise okay i'm having that gut feeling of like okay we need to keep it moving all right we'll see what we can get in the general okay i do not feel called to use the time cards because this is kind of like a a different situation here Ooh. Do I need to pull any more spirit? Nope. Okay. All right. I'm listening to spirit. This doesn't seem like a lot of charms and initials, but now that I'm seeing some of the charms, there's a reason. There's a reason. Okay. So right off the bat, we have these two hearts here. So this is kindred. This is definitely soul family. This is somebody coming in who is sure about you and doesn't want to restrict you. Um, will definitely be there for you through your transformative times. Okay. When you need to change and grow and we have these two beautiful flowers here. Okay. So you two will bloom together. This is so beautiful. So if you're with somebody already, this is a green light that you are with somebody absolutely freaking amazing. Okay. Um, if you aren't, this is coming. Okay. We have the Eiffel Tower with the lights. Libra got this and it's funny because we have the Libra charm here. So somebody with strong Libra placements could be significant. Um, you could have messages in the Libra uh video as well maybe that's why i'm not able to grab as much and that's why <laughs> that's why spirits just like no you're good you're good um but you light up this person's world like the eiffel tower when they first light it up at night um and like you're not gonna be able to be ignored anymore okay and you're not you, you're gonna have somebody who's reciprocal i really do love that but uh, your romance is lighting up that's also what i'm what i'm hearing like your love life's gonna light up um, we do have this mermaid here and this is giving me siren energy. So that's why people are talking about you. And you know what? Embrace it. Who cares? 
Um, and people are going to talk whether you like it or not. And people's opinion of you are absolutely none of your business. Live your life and be that siren. Do it. Do it. Do it, Scorpio. Um, okay, so for letters, we have I, O, F, L, X, P, C, and C. Okay, so I'm going to pause. Or I'm gonna, Well, if you need to pause, take a screenshot. Do whatever you need to do. Um, I'm going to move on to the general and we'll see what, what other things we have there. Okay. Um, I'm going to pause. I'll be right back. Okay. So we're going to start off with the tea leaves for your general portion now. So let's see, what do my Scorpios need to see for the month of October, please? And thank you, spirit, please. And thank you. Ooh, ooh, we got man and career. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, chill. <laughs> okay, on the back of the deck, we have carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. So you could be traveling or maybe just, you know, mental journey happens. This is all part of your transformation. That's what I'm hearing. I keep being shown a butterfly. So uh, we have fair man, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. We have Cain, pay attention to your health. So maybe this person has been dimming your shine or like um, has been uh, making your mental health not the best, you know. We do have flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. We have basket, re recognition, reward for merit. We do have lobster, financial pinch, but we do have wealth coming up here. So that's, that's going to be very, very temporary. We do have Unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Yes, yes. Tap into that Queen of Cups energy, please and thank you. That's going to help you so much. Uh, we have Harp. Great happiness. Absolutely. We have Elephant. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. So this is going to be beneficial for you. We have Feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. We have bear danger, especially in money matters. Yeah, so this person would probably try to do a number on you if you know who this person is. Um, they may be sneakily trying to, you know, or maybe not so sneakily. Maybe it's just finally coming to light. You know how love is blind, right? If you're already with this person. Um, take it out resonates though, but we do have man, dealings or relationship with a man, and we have career. Okay, so we're going to get into this. So spirit, what can you tell us? What what What's this all about? Please and thank you. What can you tell us about this? Please and thank you, spirit. Thank you. Okay. So we, uh, we have nine of swords. We have the five of wands. We've got the devil. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> okay. Okay. We, they was naked. All right. And we have the, oh, okay, yeah, so somebody's been hindering your uh, nine of pentacles here. You not feeling independent, you feeling very codependent and like, uh, there's nothing but tension here. And like, of course, maybe, maybe, maybe y'all stay together because the sex is great. Okay. Or like, it's like an obsession for the both of you, but that's not the only component in a relationship, right? Or like in a connection, we do have temperance. This is all in divine timing, okay? Like, you were meant to come to this realization that this just isn't working out and you are feeling stuck. You, we, This was upright in the career, so I think this person's going to get a little butthurt when you start flourishing in your career. And we need people who support us with that, not get butthurt. So, let's see. What else, spirit, for my lovely Scorpios for the month of October, please and thank you. Okay, your intuition is going to be popping off. Maybe you've been getting uh, more intuitive downloads at night and maybe that's why it's got you all anxious and up at night and like it, it's been distressing on you and like maybe now you're facing the truths. Um, yeah, competition in the background. Okay, so maybe this person's been shady to you. Okay, uh, maybe maybe there's been some other people trying to get this person and uh, they've been letting it happen. Okay. Just want to say that, just want to say that, but it could also be with work because we did have that one in the work portion, right? So this is, yeah, people are definitely trying to sabotage you, but you can't possibly F up what's meant for you. Yeah, we have the two of swords here with the devil. Do you stick with it or do you just move on, right? And then we have the queen of pentacles, okay? You are stepping into this lovely, lovely energy. 
uh, we have, you're trying to though, you're feeling a bit stuck about it, but, but you do, okay, I have to cover her, <laughs> and two, two, two's here, okay, um, I have to cover her because she's naked, but you're having hope and faith for the future, and this is all a part of your healing, you're healing this feeling stuck, and you can step into this queen of pentacles energy, okay, you can be the boss lady, I love that, and then the hanged man. This is change in perspective, okay? You're going to have that epiphany coming up soon. And you're going to turn this nine of pentacles upright, okay? And ten of cups on the back of the freaking deck. You cannot make this up, Scorpio. These are the realizations you needed to have in order to move forward. This is the release of the blockages. Spirit's been trying to tell you or your angels or however, you know, whatever you believe in. Something's been trying to tell you that we, 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 the energies you've been entertaining and the the environments that you've been in are just not it anymore okay maybe it helps you through a hard time and you feel indebted to this place but or this person but it's it's no longer serving you so you may have to move you may have to take a trip you may have to go somewhere like or, or mentally or physically okay <laughs> in order to detach and just go um but I feel like this is wonderful for you, okay? You're going to be breaking those chains, okay? You're breaking the chains off the devil here and you're finally doing things for you and I adore that. I adore that so freaking much. Okay, so we're going to get into some advice for you moving forward. So Spirit, what do you have for advice for my lovely Scorpios? Please and thank you. We have spent more time outdoors. So yeah, if you need to clear your mind, it, it, I mean, it's hard at night, okay? And if you're a woman, please be careful out there because it's not safe for us out there. But um, if you have like a walking buddy or like a nice big dog or something like that, definitely take your little, little friend there. <laughs> or scary Aries or something like that. <laughs> take that person. You'll be safe. But anyways, um spending more time outdoors or going in like walks in nature if you can if you live in a city I know that's kind of hard but try to find some nature and um you'll you'll feel you'll feel rejuvenated and it'll be really nice what else spirit a solution is on the way yes yes okay okay try again later and figure out what you really want before moving forward okay yeah this is all leading to your ten of cups so maybe you haven't hit that epiphany just yet Okay, and we have something better is on the way. So if it's just not working out right now, you're going to be just fine. It'll come to you when it needs to. But maybe this is now time to reassess. Okay, what, what are my goals? When was the last time you looked at your goals? When was the last time you looked at what was going to make you truly happy or something you really, really want to go after? Okay, so this now's the time to reevaluate that and give your energy to yourself a lot more okay focus on the things you want to accomplish outside of other people I get it if you're if you're um, a parent and you have children that's a little bit different think about them as well but um, of course take it how it resonates you got to do what's best for you and your circumstances right um, but spirit's going to help you get out of these tough environments and like you have the tower so it's either you come to that conclusion yourself or it's going to happen for you. And same with the, the two of swords here. The two of swords came up in the career. So with this being here, it's like you're chained to this. Maybe maybe your boss is a Capricorn and like, you know what I mean? <laughs> or maybe you have strong Capricorn placements and you're like, no, I can make this work. But it's like, mm, no, I feel called to do something else. Like you got to make that swift decision, but you got to be sure about it, right? Like it, it, I, you don't have to be sure about it, but like it's more of like a you got to weigh your pros and cons. That's what I was trying to get at. Okay. So like I said, it's all circumstantial. So, and that can be in other areas of your life too. That could be a huge blockage that releases a lot of things and you feel a lot freer. Okay. Um, let's see. What do we have for my lovely Scorpios for advice? Please. And thank you, spirit. We're going to do angel answers at the end. Um, we have clear your mind last quarter moon in Gemini. Yeah. Clear those ang anxious thoughts. I know it's easier said than done. Trust me. I trust I've been through this, but the more you clear your mind, the easier these thoughts and these, um, these breakthroughs come through, these downloads come through was when we're clear and calm and we're not worried about a damn thing. So maybe try meditating if you don't do, do so already. I do at least five minutes before bed and I do it before my readings too. So, um, it, it does help 
clear the mind we do have your energy go deeper new moon and scorpio yeah do a deep dive okay reveal what needs to be seen and new moon in capricorn step up and lead yeah okay so that's why the capricorn card was here um you're you're not a follower you're a leader okay and you are meant to shine and we have leave the past behind last corner moon and capricorn that is wild okay so yeah leave the past circumstances behind live and let god and like <laughs> you know uh forgive and move on and you know like some things just can't be forgiven i totally understand that but yeah no i, I definitely understand that um it's just circumstances step out of your comfort zone yes yes now's the time to get out of, it's time for a deep dive time to go for something better okay and then we have you are good enough absolutely you are more than good enough scorpio and we have take time take time to breathe out yeah take some time out for you because this is going to be a lot but you are going to you are going to prosper and it's going to be absolutely freaking wonderful for you scorpio so keep that beautiful head held high you can push through this you are definitely good enough regardless of what other people try to tell you okay there could be people trying to tell you oh you can't do that you can't go over after that you don't have what it takes and it's like try me <laughs> watch me i like that energy okay okay because something better is on the way okay a better opportunity better things are on the way for you scorpio okay so what else do we need to see um i just wanted to say uh pause if you need to i'm already pulling cards for you for your yes or no questions um time frames i'm pulling out multiple cards here whatever needs to come out okay we got a resounding no okay <laughs> oh okay okay so if you needed to go back and pause, do whatever you need to do, think of your yes or no question. I should have said that. I just got really excited. Um, we have remain positive. We have be assertive. Yes, Scorpio, do it. Do it. We have ask your angels. So you can always ask for help. And you can just say it out loud in the universe and whoever's hearing it and whatever you believe in. If you even if you don't believe in anything at all, um, just say it. Just say, I need some help with this. And, you know, it'll happen. It doesn't happen right away, but you will get the intuitive downloads you need. We have no with an exclamation point. That is a hard no. And then if you believe and on the back of the deck, there's something better. So, yeah. Okay. Bigger, better things are coming for you, Scorpio, and I'm so excited. Ah, <laughs> well, that is everything that I have for you. Actually, you know what? You know what? We're gonna pull these cards. I'm so sorry. I feel called to, I feel called to pull these cards. So, spirit, any last things that my lovely Scorpios need to see? I, this feels really rushed, but it wasn't like I, I got really excited and like. I, uh, let's see let's see we have monday swap ideas seek advice too so things could be happening in two days or like on a monday whenever you're watching this monday coming up we have distance uh we have fire sign aries leo sagittarius but we have commitment things are getting serious and we have liar uh, yeah you're getting rid of liars pretty much like that's why there's something better somebody's not gonna lie to you uh we have five you decide for yourself five days five weeks so this is all up to you, Scorpio. Okay. All right. Well, that's everything that I have for you. If this resonated, I would appreciate a like, subscribe, comment. If not, that's totally fine. Um, it, it's not going to resonate for everyone and that's completely fine. Uh, we're all going through different things. So take things how they resonate. Uh, if you need more clarity on a personal issue in your life, my email is down below. Um, just send me an email. We'll go from there. And uh, if you want to join my members, that is also in there as well. And uh, yeah, but anyways, I hope you're having a great day or night whenever you're watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye, Scorpio.